Ever wondered how your phone manages to handle both sending and receiving messages simultaneously? That's where Frequency Division Duplex, FDD, and Time Division Duplex, TDD, come into play. These technologies are like the dynamic duo of telecommunication, making sure your calls and data get to where they need to go without any mix-ups. The most frequent form of communication is bidirectional communication which allows simultaneous transmitting and receiving. A system capable of doing this is called full duplex. One can also achieve full duplex capability if sending and receiving do not occur simultaneously but switching between both phases is done so fast that it is not noticed by the user, i.e. both directions can be used quasi-simultaneously. Modern digital mobile radio systems are always full duplex capable. Essentially, two basic duplex procedures are employed, frequency division duplex FDD, using different frequency bands in each direction, and time division duplex TDD, which periodically switches the direction of transmission. Now we will explain both technique. What is frequency division duplex FDD? Frequency duplexing is a technique employed in both analog and digital mobile radio systems to facilitate simultaneous transmission and reception between a mobile device and a base station. The primary goal of frequency duplexing is to divide the available frequency band into two distinct partial bands, the uplink band and the downlink band. The uplink band refers to the transmission band of the mobile device and the receiving band of the base station. It is utilized for transmitting signals from the mobile device to the base station. On the other hand, the downlink band represents the receiving band of the mobile device and the transmission band of the base station. It is responsible for transmitting signals from the base station to the mobile device. To ensure effective separation and minimize interference between the uplink and downlink transmissions, it is crucial to allocate a sufficient frequency distance between the two partial bands. This frequency gap between the uplink and downlink pairs assigned to a specific connection helps maintain clear separation and avoid any overlap. In most cases, a single antenna is employed for both sending and receiving signals. To achieve the necessary directional separation, a duplexing unit is utilized. This unit consists of two narrowband filters characterized by sharp flanks. These filters are designed to allow only the desired signals associated with either the uplink or the downlink to pass through, while attenuating or blocking unwanted frequencies. By implementing frequency duplexing, mobile communication systems can enable efficient and simultaneous bidirectional communication. This technique enhances the overall capacity and performance of the system, allowing for seamless and reliable communication between mobile devices and base stations. What is Time Division Duplex, TDD? Time duplexing, also referred to as Time Division Duplexing, TDD, is a duplexing technique employed in communication systems to enable bidirectional communication over a single frequency channel. Unlike frequency duplexing, which separates uplink and downlink transmissions by allocating different frequency bands, time duplexing achieves the separation by dividing the transmission time into distinct time slots. In time duplexing, the available transmission time is divided into alternating time slots, with each slot dedicated to either uplink or downlink communication. During a specific time slot, the communication direction is switched between the transmitter and the receiver. For example, during one time slot, the transmitter sends data while the receiver remains idle, and during the next time slot, the receiver listens for incoming data while the transmitter remains idle. The duration of each time slot can be fixed or variable, depending on the system's design and requirements. The allocation of time slots can be dynamically controlled based on the communication needs and traffic conditions. In systems with centralized control, such as cellular networks, a base station or access point coordinates the transmission schedules of multiple devices, ensuring that each device receives its allocated time slots for communication. For effective time duplexing, precise timing synchronization is crucial. All devices participating in the communication must be synchronized to a common time reference to ensure proper switching between uplink and downlink transmissions. 
synchronization can be achieved through various mechanisms, such as synchronization signals broadcasted by the base station or through synchronization protocols. One of the significant advantages of time duplexing is its efficient utilization of the available frequency spectrum. Since uplink and downlink transmissions share the same frequency channel, it eliminates the need for separate frequency bands, leading to enhanced spectral efficiency. This is particularly beneficial in scenarios where the available frequency spectrum is limited or costly. Time duplexing is commonly employed in various wireless communication systems, including cellular networks, e.g., 3G, 4G, and 5G, wireless local area networks, LANs, and wireless point-to-point -point links. It provides an effective solution for achieving bidirectional communication over a shared frequency channel, offering flexibility and efficient spectrum utilization. However, time duplexing requires accurate timing synchronization and coordination between devices to avoid interference and ensure seamless and reliable communication. Now we compare key differences between FDD and TDD. Frequency Division Duplexing FDD, and Time Division Duplexing TDD, are two duplexing techniques used in communication systems. Here are the key differences between FDD and TDD. 1. Separation of Uplink and Downlink FDD In FDD, uplink and downlink transmissions are separated by allocating different frequency bands. The uplink and downlink channels operate simultaneously but on separate frequencies. TDD In TDD, uplink and downlink transmissions are separated based on time. The available transmission time is divided into alternating time slots, with each slot dedicated to either uplink or downlink communication. 2. Spectrum Utilization FDD FDD requires dedicated frequency bands for uplink and downlink which means that the available frequency spectrum needs to be divided into two separate bands. This can limit the overall spectrum efficiency. TDD TDD utilizes a single frequency band for both uplink and downlink communication. The uplink and downlink transmissions share the same frequency channel, resulting in more efficient spectrum utilization. 3. Synchronization Requirements FDD In FDD, Synchronization between the transmitting and receiving devices is not as critical compared to TDD. As long as the devices operate within their allocated frequency bands, separate timing synchronization is not required. TDD TDD heavily relies on precise timing synchronization between devices. All devices participating in TDD communication must be synchronized to a common time reference to ensure proper switching between uplink and downlink time slots. For flexibility, FDD, FDD provides fixed allocation of frequency bands for uplink and downlink, which can limit flexibility in adapting to changing traffic conditions. The allocation of frequency bands remains constant. TDD, TDD offers more flexibility in allocating time slots dynamically based on communication needs and traffic conditions. Time slots can be adjusted to accommodate varying uplink and downlink requirements. 5. Interference and Capacity FDD Since FDD uses separate frequency bands for uplink and downlink, interference between the two directions is reduced. This enables FDD systems to have higher capacity and better isolation between uplink and downlink transmissions. TDD TDD systems can experience some self-interference since uplink and downlink transmissions share the same frequency channel. However, advanced signal processing techniques can mitigate this interference, and TDD systems can adaptively allocate time slots to optimize capacity. Both FDD and TDD have their own advantages and are used in different communication systems based on their specific requirements. FDD is commonly used in cellular networks while TDD is often utilized in applications such as wireless local area networks, LANs, and some cellular technologies like LTE-TDD and 5G-TDD.